Hello Pisces, this is Starline. I'm here to do your reading for September the 21st through the 28th. This is not going to resonate with everyone, so please do not get mad if it's not your story. Mm. If you a cross watcher, you can switch the, the characters if you would like. But I'm here to do Pisces reading for the 21st through the 28th. It's going to be for the sun, the moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Spirit, earth, spirit of the earth, water, fire, and air. What important messages do you have for Pisces for September the 21st to 28th? Is it new love? Is old love coming back? What about career? What about money? They're going to receive some money? <laughs> Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to speak to Pisces for September the 21st to the 28th. All right. Mm. You got somebody was holding back from you? Could be in a Gemini or somebody's in this energy. This is someone that's feeling betrayed because of someone they poured all their emotions out to you, out to them, and this is who they was hiding from you. That's this is why that person was holding back from you. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. You got somebody's coming in because they're feeling the repercussions of the action. Now your person want to start something new with you. And they want to come in. They want to apologize to you. This is someone that have make it, is making a decision. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Gemini. This is someone that had one foot in and one foot out. Now this person feeling left out in the cold by a Capricorn or someone very toxic. Show me cause I need to see. Tell me. Hmm. Why do yo why do this person want to apologize? What would they say? What would they say to Pisces? They're coming in to apologize. What would they say to Pisces? I'm sorry that I let you go. I'm I'm sad about an ex. I was sad about an ex. I know that we had plant our seeds together. But I apologize for not working on this relationship with you. Uh, I apologize for not planting my seeds with you. Hmm. I apologize for not having uh, victory with you. The person coming in, they want to uh, speak the truth. They want to apologize to you. Hmm. Over our energy. Not the over. I'm sorry. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this situation. Tell me more. Tell me more. This person is thinking about you a lot. This person wants to come in. This person wants to send you um, a romantic proposal. This is someone that's trying to be hopeful because they see the sunshine with you. They see happiness with you. They see abundance with you. This is the one that see you as their twin flame. And they want a reunion with you. They want to celebrate with you. This is someone that could have cut you out of their life. And this person was sad when they cut you out of their life. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more about this. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. That person see you as someone very flirty. They see you as someone that likes to be seen. Mm, you could be the father of this person's child or this is someone you was committed to. Or someone of authority or this could be a Taurus. That person want to send you a very important message. It could be about money. This is someone that you had an ending with this person. But this person coming back because they see you as their soulmate. Mm, this is someone that's definitely watching you, trying to gather some information about you. They're going by your job, checking out your social media page. This person is definitely watching you. This is someone you could have met at work, or this person was in a third party. So this person coming back and trying to make a major decision, making a decision to take action. Mm, they're trying to make this major decision to take action to talk to you, but this person was very indecisive. This is someone that can live at a distance from you. This is someone that wants to come in and pour all their emotions out to you. They want positive changes with you. Could be a Libra. Uh, this is the one that's coming in that's wanting to balance things out with you. Hmm. This person sees you as someone that knows how to control their money. They see you as someone very grounded. They see that you as someone who got it going on. Tell me more, tell me more. This is someone that you had a fight with, a drama with, some kind of conflict. But this person is trying to be patient because they really don't know how you feel about them. But that person is still holding on to you. This is someone that you had an ending with this person. 
This person is not sleeping at nighttime. This person um, is thinking about you day and night. They can't get you out of their head. This is someone you could be married to this person or this person is already married. Mm, this person is waiting on you. This person feels very burdened about telling you the truth. So I'm getting from these cards that this person is kind of uh, uh, worried. Because if they tell you the truth, hmm, they're kind of scared to tell you the truth. Tell me more about this. Why does this person feel burdened by telling, telling them the truth? Why does this person feel burdened by telling Pisces the truth? Show me cards I need to see. Because of someone from the past. Hmm. That were very deceptive. This is someone they saw was an ideal partner. So your person feel burdened to tell you the truth about someone from their past. This is someone they could have known this person for a long period of time. But they saw this person as a person could be pregnant. This person was very abundant. But this is someone that was supporting them. Hmm. What do you want? What do you want from Pisces right now? What do you want from Pisces? September the 9th, 2020. What do you want for Pisces right now? For September the 9th. I'm sorry, September the 8th, 2020. What do you want from them right now for September the 8th, 2020? A brand new start. Your person said they want a brand new start right now. Mm. Are you still in love with someone from your past? Are you still in love with someone from your past? Yeah, I'm very heartbroken about that person. Hmm. What do you see the future of this relationship with Pisces? What do you see the future of this relationship with Pisces? They see you as an ideal partner, a good partner. Do you want to take things to the next level with Pisces? Do you want to take things to the next level with Pisces? Mm, they feeling remorseful. They, they got their walls up too. Why do you have your walls up? Why are you scared to commit? Why are you scared to commit or make a, a commitment? They do still love and family with you. They see that you're met your financial goal in life, but that person said they need to take a break. That's why they have their walls up right now. Hmm. Are you to be trusted? Can can Pisces trust you? Can they trust you now? Show me cards I need to see. Mm, they said they're walking away. Tell me more. Explain that to me. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. Oh, okay. That's, they said that if you can't trust them, they will walk away. Because you're there for wish fulfillment. And they want to fight for this relationship with you. And they see that you could be very controlling. Okay, I got chills now. Okay. <laughs> Okay, your person say, if you cannot trust them, they will walk away. Because you, they see you as they wish fulfillment. They coming in to fight for this relationship with you. Mm. This person, oh, this person is coming in to take care of you. <laughs> this person is coming in. Mm. This person is going to be very controlling. This, this person will, will, will protect you. Okay. They want to they want to move forward with you. Mm, thank you, Spirit. Thank you for that. Mm, for that clarity. Hmm. Over our energy. Someone that had ghost you. It could be a Virgo or somebody's in this energy that ghosts you. This person see that you're the one who got away from them. They're coming in. They want to speak the truth to you. This is someone that come in that want to move to common waters with you. And this person wants to commit. Because they see you as this uh, very powerful male or female. They want a brand new start with you. This is someone that wants to equal give and take. This is someone that was in and out your life. Or this is someone that wants to travel to come see you. This is someone that's very sad. This, ooh. Some of you guys are dealing with a narcissist. I hate to say it, but somebody is out there dealing with a narcissist. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. This is someone that in a cycle with you. This is someone that wants to move in with you. Hmm. Some of you guys might be dealing with a narcissist. I'm not saying everybody's a narcissist that's coming back to your life, but you got somebody out there as a narcissist. Hmm. Okay. If you need a personal reading from me, the information is going to be down below in the description box. And you can be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Taurus. If you're new to my channel, hey, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, leave me a comment. I read all the comments. I respond to every single one of them. If you know you need that personal reading from me, it's down below. Until next time, you guys. Bye.